Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm out here working on the uh, on the offset smoker, and I'm doing a video on it. But I was gonna give a quick tip, right quick, for uh, cutting straight lines in a, I guess you would call it a 2G posi position, as if in welding sideways, you know. And uh, it's it's a real easy thing to do, and it usually works out pretty good. But let me show you what I'm looking at. That's the smoker. I just got everything mounted up on it, and now I need to mount this box on the end. So I have to cut this out, but it's flat, so it's okay. But I also need to cut that out. And you know, typically you could get down on your knees and try to go across, and it's going to end up kind of shaky. You know, sometimes it might end up, it'd be worse than others. And you could try to pull it, and that's, no matter how you go about it, if you're down on your knees like that and it's sideways, it's just going to be a pain nine times out of ten. So what I'm going to do, and this takes a few extra minutes to do this, but I mean, it's usually worth the time. I'm just going to take a piece of angle, whatever you got. This is three quarter inch angle, but uh, whatever you got laying around. And for that top line, I'm going to tack it about a quarter inch under that line right there. Then I'm going to tack one about a quarter inch under that line and then try to uh, pull the torch across it. One of the main things you need to do when you do that is make sure there's no uh, slag, anything like that, sitting on top of the piece of angle that's going to catch the torch and make it jump away, you know. Just kind of make sure it's smoothed out a little bit and make sure there's nothing, no kind of burrs or anything on the, on the tip of your torch. But I'm going to tack it about a quarter inch up under there and then we'll cut it. All right, I got it all out. You can see through where it's open in the firebox. But, uh, yeah, just tacking a piece up there, man, it'll help you a whole lot sometimes. Because, man, it gets really hard to hold that torch sideways like that. And no, just about any position you get in, it gets tough. These little corners right here are the only thing I didn't cut using that straight edge on there. But, yeah, it helps. I mean, you can cut it out the other way, but that does help. It takes a few extra minutes, but it's not that bad. Just take a piece of angle, a piece of square tubing, anything, put it on there. And like I say, kind of brush it off a little bit. Make sure there's no like little BBs from welding and stuff like that on there, like it is on this end. But uh, tack it up there, like I say, about a quarter inch. And uh, about a quarter inch is what I do if I'm going right above the line or right under the line. You can kind of see it when you set the torch on there. And try to drag with this part of your torch. If you can see that thing, try to drag with where it starts to taper right there. Don't lay that tip down on it. It's going to end up popping out on you and this and that. But right where the tip starts to taper, that's where I try to drag. You can kind of see scuff marks on it where I was dragging through there. It probably ain't focusing. But anyway, that's just a quick tip, man. I got to get back going on this smoker and I got a fire pit to do. Uh, I have a part one of this smoker coming here soon. I'm going to do it in two parts. Because once I get this part put on, I need to get going on a fire pit. Maybe two fire pits. So anyway, man, if y'all new to the channel, man, please like and subscribe. Uh, y'all come back for the next one. Uh, it's it's going to be this smoker, I'm pretty sure. At least the part one. And then after that, we'll see what it is. So y'all come back for the next one, man. We'll see you then.